Hi everyone, it's me Vanessa. I'm really excited to have you back in my kitchen today. We are doing a dessert plant fire recipe today. It's one of my absolute favorites. I hope you guys are coconut fans because this is going to knock your socks off. We have delicious and healthy coconut macaroons topped with a delicious and healthy chocolate sauce. So let's go ahead and get started and introduce our star ingredients for the day. We have our shredded unsweetened coconut. We have our brown rice syrup. And we have organic soy milk. And this is vanilla flavor, but you can also use almond milk or soy milk, but um, I really, you can use some other and hemp, hemp milk, but I really think that soy has the best consistency. But in a pinch, you certainly can use any of the above. And then we have our lovely chocolate sauce that we'll be talking about in a moment. Let's go ahead and get started. So, how much? For this particular recipe, we use about 12 ounces of the shredded coconut. We use about two thirds cup of the brown rice syrup. I've tried using less, but you just need to have enough to actually make it bind. And then just two tablespoons of the soy milk. So in the bowl, we've already combined all three ingredients. And the, the, the most difficult part of all this, and it's funny because I've done cooking classes. Actually, uh, my partner in crime, Rosa, and I have done a cooking class where we've made these coconut macaroons and the ladies absolutely loved them and each of us made our own. But you realize you need a little, you need to have that, that muscle power to make these happen. So you gather some in your hand. You'll see it's very sticky. And then once you've got a nice, again, you're using that muscle. And then take your other hand and you're gonna kinda of make it as a base. You know, just think of, think of making, and again, this could be a little bit of a process, but think of making a kiss. Kinda of like when you see those Hershey kisses that I wouldn't suggest that you eat, those aren't very good for you, but that shape of the Hershey kiss, so you want a base for it to sit, and then kind of come in a tip, like that. I mean, that's kind of a squatty one, but you know, you can have fun with it. But it's very simple, just a, a shape like that, and then we'll put it over here on the plate for a second. I'll wipe my hands, because it is very sticky. And then, what you're going to do with your macaroon is, you're going to Preheat your oven to 350, and it's going to go into the oven. I'm going to go ahead, because I've been doing some magic while, uh, while we were preparing this. Some magic was happening over in the oven. We are, have already put in macaroons, so we put it at 350, 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so let me go ahead and bring them out, and then I'll finish explaining to you the process. Oh, look how beautiful these are. So beautiful. So what we have here, we have our cookie sheet, if you can see here, and then we have our lovely silpat. We've talked about that uh, before. We have our silpat, and a silpat is something that you use. So we don't we don't ever use we don't use oil in our house, and this prevents things from sticking on your pan. So it makes it a healthy um, a healthy dessert or healthy anything when you're using the silpat. And uh, but the trick really is with these macaroons is you, you have to babysit the the um, oven, every oven's a little different, but they'll be looking like they're absolutely fine. Let's put this over here. And suddenly you walk away for a couple minutes and you'll have burnt coconut. So you definitely want to keep an eye, set the alarm on it, but just kind of get a watchful eye and especially kind of know your own oven. So there's the finished product. And then you can have it just like this, but really, again, as I mentioned in previous videos, chocolate makes everything taste better. So we have our beautiful chocolate sauce, and we have a video on how to make this, but it's just maple syrup and, and uh, unsweetened cocoa powder, but just a little drizzle. And this is where you can get fun, kind of bring out the uh, inner culinary artist, if you will. Yeah, there we go, chocolate. And look what you have. I mean, is that not beautiful? It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's so gorgeous that you need to have some. Get the... This is so good. This is delicious. I can't wait to hear your comments after you make these because I know you're going to love this. So for more delicious plant fire recipes, tips, and inspiration, head on over to see me at VanessaChamberlain.com. Healthy hugs, happy eating, and I'll see you next time.